Ugh. Nothing like reading the local newspaper and taking a greasy steamer. Uh, daddy's calling. Daddy Doucette's calling. Pick it up. Uh, daddy Doucette's calling. Pick it up. Uh, daddy's calling. Mito! Daddy? Daddy Doucette? Want to go out to dinner tonight? Ah, uh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm doing OMAD. I've already had my meal. I'm just, rock, I'm just rocking a greasy steamer right now. You know, I respect the greasy steamer, but OMAD, that's just not it. Not it. You're a freaking moron. I'm not the moron. You're the moron. Do you have time later this week? Yeah, no, I can't do it this week. Can't make it for dinner. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Mito's Life. And in today's video, I will be doing OMAD for a full week. So today is the 9th, as you can see that in the corner, hopefully, hopefully. And I just did weigh-ins. So currently I'm pretty heavy because of the Christmas weight and then also fresh and 15 from uni. So I thought, let's do OMAD. So. I'll see you guys at my first meal. So it's actually day number two. I'm just watching the NFL playoffs and just gonna do some editing because tomorrow I do start school and I'm gonna have like no time to edit. So it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna be posting once a week as you guys are gonna be seeing because this video is gonna be part of that once a week. But yeah, just still drinking my water. I'm trying to get like three, four liters in a day. Um, yesterday I broke my fast at eight. Yeah, eight. I'm going to probably try and push it a bit later. So when I do start school, I can literally just eat way later at night. Cause one of, one of the days, my latest class ends at 10. So that's not fun, but yeah, yesterday I couldn't, well, I could have filmed, but it would have been kind of weird because we were having a nice family dinner. So I just thought to just leave it as that but i had steak some potatoes green beans some salad um shrimp some other stuff some apps we just had like nice little family vibe you know but if i had to estimate how many calories i had in that hour it would have probably been around 2000 so this morning I did weigh myself and I was down by 0.2 of a kilo. So that's pretty impressive and nice to hear. So yeah, I'll see you guys this time when I'm gonna eat. So yeah. All right, so I just finished up meal two. I made four of these taco pizza things. I don't know, I just kind of found whatever was in the fridge, threw it together and now I'm going to probably end the night off with some Halo Top while watching the last football game. So, let's go. So, I've just finished up cooking, well, cooking, assembling meal number three. And it's straight out of Daddy Doucette's cookbook. So, let's take a quick look at these. So, we have four tuna and then eight spicy chicken with a diet coke and then after i'm either gonna make another dessert out of daddy Doucette's cookbook 2.0 or i'm gonna have halo top haven't quite decided what's going on so today is day number four of doing omad and not gonna lie it is definitely starting to get a bit easier and it definitely feels like just like when i used to do it you know my time comes to eat i eat but yeah, so I'm gonna just show you guys something. So the other day when I was shopping, I found these. Normally I would not buy these, but I thought they'd be super cool to add into my OMAD like days. So today I'm gonna be having all three boxes. So I'm gonna cook it up and then we eat. So yeah. So we are all done cooking. So we have the jalapeno here. La Flaming Hot right here. And also the classic Bold Cheesy. Whew. So obviously 
I believe this should get hotter as I go up. So I'm going to be starting off with the bold cheesy and making my way up. And once I'm done eating, I'll give you guys my full thoughts on them. Woo! I'm not even going to sit here and lie. The flaming hot, pretty freaking hot. The jalapeno is also pretty spicy, but the flaming hot I might have to leave. I'll see. That's really spicy. This one's obviously not spicy. This one's quite tasty. All right, so we finished the cheesy one, finished the jalapeno, and I really just cannot finish this because it is too spicy for me. Maybe if I had a bit more of a tan, I could take it on. All right, so today is day number five. I just finished up my meal, and I'm gonna end off with a nice Halo Top ice cream. So for my meal, I made the same chicken mix that I had on day, I think it was three, like with like Greg's recipe, like that. I freaking love that. And yeah, so I put that on wrap. So I had two wraps. Then I realized it honestly tastes way better on rice, um, rice cakes. Yeah, I was gonna call them crackers, but they're not on rice cakes. So I ended up switching into that. So yeah, so I'm gonna have my ice cream worked all day, school work, and I'll probably go for a nice little walk, even though it's dark out, but I just wanna get a few steps in. All right, so it is day number wow. six. It's honestly just kind of like becoming a routine at this point. It's just getting easier and easier. But today I made, I don't even know what I made, but I have a bunch of veggies in there, carrots, broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, yada, 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 with some noodles, sriracha, and cheese on top. And then I'm gonna try this nice little halo top. I'm not too familiar with that flavor. I'm also more familiar with halo top, not hello top. All right, so as I was absolutely inhaling my halo top, by the way, that bowl thing that I made, it was actually quite good. If anything, I should have put a bit less sriracha in there because it was a little spicy for me, but I ended up adding Greek yogurt, 0% Greek yogurt to cool everything down a bit. And I forgot to mention, I think, but I added chicken in there, uh, chicken breast. But yeah, as I was absolutely mucking this thing, which to be honest, the vegan one just has like a weird taste to it, but it definitely has like a better consistency. For sure, yeah. And yeah, my grandma comes through. And around lunchtime, she made these like dessert things. I don't exactly know what they're even called. It's literally just like a puff pastry stuffed with cream. But she offered me some and I'm like, Grandma, I'm literally freaking doing OMAD. Like, why would you offer me? And then she's like, oh my God, the me, I'm so sorry. But yeah, so let's try these out. These are addicting, I can already tell. All right, and I'm just about to eat. This might be the weirdest thing I have made. I honestly just started throwing stuff together. But honestly, the Greg Doucette spicy chicken um, rice cake, that's what it's called, yes. Um, I freaking love that. Like, I could have that every single day of my life. And I was gonna make it again, but then I'm like, that's freaking, that's freaking boring for you guys. So then I was like, what the heck can I do to change it up? So I came up with a little something, something. It looks kind of boring, but like, or weird. So what I ended up doing was I added chicken breast. So I boiled chicken breast, shredded it. And then I got Greek yogurt, put that in there in a bowl. I put a bit of stevia so it can sweeten it a bit. And then I put pineapple mango, a bit of sweet heat mustard, and it tastes pretty good. It sounds weird. Like, I don't know. I mean, like the pineapple is going to end up hel helping out 
with my future Tinder date. So today is the next day. And I just went out to grab some groceries. I got myself a nice little spinach and feta wrap, which is almost done, and a coffee. And let's just talk about it. So, OMAD, how was it? Well, I'll be honest. It was, for me, it was honestly kind of easy to swing into it because I did do it before for such a long time. It just kind of almost felt like second nature. Um, yeah, so that's that. It wasn't terribly hard. Obviously it had some nights where I'm like, holy crap, I'm really hungry. Some nights I'd under eat and then I'd feel it the next day. So that definitely did not help. Um, is it great for weight loss? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's really hard to overeat your calories in a single hour. So it's no magic. It's no nothing. Like intermittent fasting is not magic. OMAD is not magic. Keto is not magic. Like none of these diets are magic. At the end of the day, it's always calories in versus calories out. And remember that because you can't just break the laws of thermodynamics. <clears throat> and yeah, so I think I lost four pounds and something i obviously use my phone to record so i can't just pull it up and be like oh hey guys like look so um yeah so i think i lost like four pounds and something which is great is that all fat no water weight act like it could be anything like i who knows maybe today if i didn't have as much sodium yesterday or two days ago like whatever maybe today i'd be lighter because i wouldn't be holding as so much water um, so it's like stuff like that that plays an effect. Uh, also remember one thing, this doesn't really have to do with OMAD, but if you step on the scale and you're heavier than yesterday, don't look at it like, Oh my God, I just gained weight. I need to go do a bunch of cardio. Look at it as, you know what? Maybe I just drank water, like more water yesterday and just haven't peed yet. Or I haven't taken a bowel movement yet, or, you know, the vibe, you know? So don't look at it like that. Don't freak out at the end of the day. Look at your calories in a week and be like, today I can have that slice of cheesecake, but tomorrow I'll just cut out a bit. And then the next day I'll cut it. Ugh. And then the next day I'll cut out a bit. Like, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Also, would I recommend OMAD to someone? You know what? At the end of the day, it's what works for you. OMAD worked for me before. I, it's not the only way to lose weight. Um, I'm starting to go away from OMAD. Or, or I did go away from it. But yeah. So that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell notification for more content like this. Eating challenges, trying out diets challenge videos fitness content once gyms open up and also if you guys did like this video please leave a like and also let me know down below in the comments if you guys would try omad or if you guys have done omad or intermittent fasting or the warrior diet i'd love to hear about it and also comment down below what diet i should try out next so yeah have a great rest of your day peace